myself. And welcome to Radical Custom Garage. I'd just like to introduce myself. My name is Russ Navarra. Um, I do a lot of YouTube videos. And this is my ride. Uh, you'll see a lot of it in different videos. Um, and this behind me is my toolbox. I do a lot of uh, different toolbox uh, reviews, uh, talk about a little bit about tools, uh, talk about just uh, anything and everything that comes to mind. What is up YouTubers? I'm doing another video uh, this afternoon. I done one this morning for Fuzzy Wuzzy and uh, Harley Adams. Um, but I wanted to kind of do a video on um, jack stands or you know kind of a little bit about uh, car safety or whatever I see friends I've seen uh, relatives and things um, crawl under a car with no jack stands no uh, <clears throat> you know support they'll just run a jack up under there and they say oh it's only gonna be five minutes or whatever but uh, i've seen too many accidents happen or things happen in a split second that you know can uh, physically cost your life so <clears throat> i just want to kind of show you here um i have an ac delco one um it's a uh, 210 um you know it, it's uh I like this particular one. Um, it's small enough. Uh, I can use it for, you know, my Challenger. I can put it under there, you know, some of the bigger ones. Uh, you have to jack up taller in that. Um, this one you can put up under there really quick if you have to, you know, run it up. Um, I always make sure that it's locked here, you know, it gets in the grooves and that. Sometimes I've seen them just barely get in the groove and it'll slip on you. Um, that's one thing, you know, guys, just make sure that it, it's good and secured and then let the car down slow. I've seen guys also, uh, when they're doing it, um, just go over there and crank the knob on it and then just, you know, hit the top of the jack stand. Um, you know, that, there's a reason why these have ratings on them, two ton, six ton, you know, five ton, um, because, you know, <clears throat> of the uh, how many pounds uh, of weight that uh, this will support uh, I was just sitting here looking um, and I really never paid any attention to um, some of the the warnings and things on it um, you know this is 4,000 pounds it, it says um, and that's not to succeed uh, 4,000 pounds so you really got to know what your vehicle weight on your car is or your truck. Um, you know, a lot of guys will just grab a jack stand too and throw under there and it may not be rated for that. Same way with a jack. Um, and that's kind of why I wanted to do this video. Um, it's very scary uh, to see somebody and why I brought it up today. I seen a, a gentleman that had a car jacked up side of the road. He had just a, a regular floor jack, and he was changing a tire, but he had two kids running around, and, you know, something could happen in an instant. You know, they run out in traffic, they walk over and crank that jack down or, or whatever, and it, it's all over, and, you know, you, you don't want to put your kids in that situation. Uh, I guess I've said enough about that. Um, the next one is... This one is a, bit, a big red jack. I think you can uh, get these at any auto parts, Walmart. Um, this one has been a pretty good jack. I mean, I've had it for years. But this one is one of them that uh, I haven't spent a whole lot on. Um, and if you'll notice, this one... I don't use it much anymore, and it's one of the reasons behind it. When I do use it, this one is one of them. Sometimes you think it is and uh, secure, and sometimes it's not. 
So most of the time, and I've got this one marked separate um, from my other jacks, uh, usually I use it uh, when I use it because I know it's bad because it has let me down a couple times. I've stuck it under a car or a truck and it's it's went all the way back down. So this one I know it's marked. I've got it marked. I still use it, but I keep it, make sure it's in the down position. Um, you know, it, it's scary and I usually try to tell everybody that, you know, it, it's that way. And you can... Uh, I could probably go in there and adjust this in here if you'll notice see if I can't it, it's got a well let me pull it I don't know if you can see down inside but it's got a lever but this is war over the years to the point you can see it's coming loose and I've been meaning to, you know, kind of lubricate that up and maybe drill it and uh, put a cotter pin in it to where that won't slip. But it, it lets this lever here, it don't lock uh, down in there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, it don't let that lever lock or it gets in the stuck position. <laughs> Excuse me. And it won't get into these grooves and that. And uh, I just need to take it apart, clean it, you know, grease it. Um, but I've got another one I'm fixing to show you that works great. It's from Snap-on. Um, yeah, you're going to pay a little more for it. But I would rather pay a little bit and be safe than, than just have something like this. And like I said, I've had this one probably, if I was guessing... Uh, I would say 15, 20 years. Um, I'll put this one off to the side. This one here is a five ton. Um, it's model, it's from Snap-on. See if I can't get you guys over here. If you'll notice. And of course, it's made in USA. Um, and you may, it may be coming up on backwards on, on there. I don't know. Um, but it's what they call a series B. It's a five ton, uh, capacity. And that, that, that's the maximum that you can, can put on these guys. You know, these are for your trucks and, and that. I have used them for my car. I have a set of four of them where I can jack all four, uh, wheels up off the ground. I don't normally like doing that, but... Sometimes you have to, um, you know, uh, it, it's just, if you'll look, it is just a sturdy jack. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's well built. It's got a, uh, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a keeper there, you know, um, snap ring, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it keeps that from from uh, slipping out of there like that other one. And it's got a roll pin also in there. And like I said, this one, you can hear it click. You know that uh, when you have it up and you let the car down, you know it's going to be, you know, you're going to be safe. Um, I like I can do that. I know it's, it's down all the way. Um, yeah, it's more of a pain in the butt to slide it up under a car and get the car jacked up, especially uh, if you're like me with the Dodge Challengers and the Camaros and things. It's a real pain because I've got to get the car way up in the air to get one of these big jacks under there. But, you know, um, <clears throat> if, if you're going to have it under there for a long period of time up in the air, I suggest, you know, using one of these. Otherwise, if you're doing a quick job or that, uh, this AC Jet Delco is not, you know, nothing to sneeze at. And, you know, it, it's the same way. It's got a little roll pin up in here. Um, it's just very well built. Uh, I paid more for the AC Delco um, than I did, you know, the cheaper ones that you get Walmart, Sam's, um, AutoZone, whatever. Uh, but like I said, you get what you pay for. And what's your life worth? Um, 
you know, that that's the main thing. Um, you know, I just kind of wanted to throw this video out uh, a little bit today. Um, you know, I, I think everybody needs to uh, have at least two sets to, to three sets of these jack stands. Uh, you can look around my shop. I've got uh, probably a total of four sets of these in different sizes. Um, I haven't, you know, wanted to part with, with the other one. I just got done showing you that it's kind of messed up. But it, it's still, you know, at the the bottom of it, it still works. It, you know, it helps, uh, you know, it, it's just a protection, so I guess all I'm trying to say. Um, once again, uh, go out and check uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy, Harley Adams. They're the next two coming up. Um, you know, go check their channels out. Uh, Justin, ATV, and I both are going to end, uh, it's, it's, it's rolling down to the wire. Uh, Friday night, we're having a, a live stream. Um, want to thank Marco. Thank you so much, Marco. You are awesome uh, for doing this, for the, uh, to help the subscribers and, or the uh, people that's doing their, um, videos and things um and just help supporting our our uh so we can get more subscribers and stuff um i i just pre appreciate everything you've done i appreciate um everybody that has participated in this uh thanks once again to all my subscribers new subscribers and old um and good luck to you guys out there on this I want to uh, thank the people that's one above and beyond, like Coon Trucking, um, also uh, <clears throat> Snap-On Junkie, um, they've done some videos, and, and a couple others have, and I'm sorry guys, I can't think of everybody, um, but thank you to the ones that already have a lot of subscribers and things, and that are doing the videos out there and helping Justin, ATV, and me, and some of the other guys out there. Just thank each and every one of you, and God bless you. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you in the next video, and have a great day.